uh, waking up to a few clouds this morning, but notice off toward the eastern horizon, we're actually waking up to a little bit of that haze and smoke from some of those wildfires that continue to burn across the Pacific Northwest, Canada, and also the northern Rockies. Uh, temperatures right now cooling off into those upper 60s, and temperatures this afternoon not entirely too bad because we are going to be dealing with a little bit of cloud cover along with a slight chance for some of those isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. But want to get you caught up on the latest on Tropical Storm Herald because this is going to be impacting our weather for parts of the state over the next 24 to 48 hours. But this developed into a tropical storm overnight and into the wee hours of the morning. Sustained winds are at 45 miles per hour. It's now bearing down on South Texas. Notice with that counterclockwise spin, we are now seeing some of those outer bands reaching areas like Corpus Christi and Brownsville, and it is moving off to the west and northwest at about 18 miles per hour. So this morning we are waking up under just a few clouds here in the metro, clear skies out to the east, and we do have some of those diminishing showers out toward Gallup right now, and those continue to push up to the north, even a few isolated storms in and around Durango in southern Colorado. But temperature wise, we're actually not too bad. We have the low 60s in Pagosa Springs at this hour, 57 in Raton, 59 in Las Vegas. We have the upper 60s to low 70s along the Interstate 40 corridor from Santa Rosa to Tucumcari, 75 in Roswell, 68 in Alamogordo with the low 70s in Deming and Las Cruces. So today we're looking at a breezy day. We'll see those winds shifting to more of a southeasterly direction grabbing in some of that moisture and pushing it our way. So we're going to see those winds around 15 to 25 miles per hour with increasing clouds during the second half of the day and also into the evening hours with some of those isolated to widely scattered showers or thunderstorms. As we go into Wednesday, we will start to track some of that tropical moisture from uh, the remnants of what was or what will be Tropical Storm Herald. And then a lot of that rain will be favoring western and also central New Mexico when we could be dealing with pockets of heavy rain, especially along the I-10 corridor where we could see the potential for more of the flash flooding tomorrow. In the southeast today, we're looking at highs only in the mid 90s in Clovis and Fort Sumner. Ruidoso, you're at 80 today, 99 in Roswell, so finally below that century mark. And we'll leave in a 30% chance for some of those scattered showers and storms. TRC, we're at 92. Silver City at 87. Lordsburg, breezy to windy with highs in the lower half of the 90s. Chinle, you're at 88 today with Window Rock at 83, Gallup at 86, 92 in Farmington with a couple of hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures cooling into the middle to upper 80s, 91 in the Española Valley, 84 in Taos, 75 in Red River. 89 in Santa Fe and a 20% chance for some of those hit or miss showers and thunderstorms through Wednesday. And then we'll increase that chance to about 40% for Thursday and Friday. Clayton, we're in the low 90s today. Tucum Carry at 94, Roy at 87, and in the East Mountains, 84 in Sandia Park. Edgewood, we're at 87, upper 80s in Moriarty and Estancia. Still pretty hot in Berlin with that high of 95, 94 in Los Lunas. Downtown, we're at 92 up in the foothills, checking in at 91. Rio Rancho at 90. With just a couple of spotty showers and storms up to about 20% for your Wednesday. We'll keep those isolated storms in the forecast through Wednesday here in Albuquerque up to 30% on Thursday and Friday. Highs only in the mid 80s and then we're back to the 90s by the weekend.